Yo, it's your bro, Uncle E here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you one powerful prayer that I use to beat demons and destroy temptation in my war against vice. First, I'm gonna teach you four powerful ejaculatory prayers that you can use during each of the four stages of the vice cycle model that I taught you in a previous video. So you're probably wondering, what exactly is an ejaculatory prayer? So an ejaculatory prayer is a prayer that you can eject really quickly, like a dart in the direction of a demon or a temptation when it's coming your way. You can use it like a weapon. For example, in Matthew 16, 23, when Jesus turns to Peter when he's acting like a punk and says, get behind me, Satan. That is an ejaculatory prayer. And like I said, you can use it like a weapon. So let's do a quick review on the vice cycle model so you know exactly what to do. First, we have the stage of inflation. Then we have deflation, compulsion, and revulsion. The most dangerous state to be in is in the state of inflation because you start to trip. This is when you've been free for a week, a few months, maybe six months or a year, and then you believe you got the vice licked for good. As a result, you fall into pride and start believing you can never be tripped up and stumble ever again. Then pride starts to take over. And when you're in that state of pride, the best type of prayer to use is praise. The praise prayer that you're gonna use in order to destroy that sense of pride that starts to well up inside because you haven't fallen for several months is thank you, Lord, for keeping me free from vice and walking firmly in your grace. So if you notice, it's a short prayer. It needs to be short so it can be repeated often and shot like a rapid fire machine gun. Lord, thank you for keeping me free from vice and walking firmly in your grace. Lord, thank you for keeping me free from vice and walking firmly in your grace. Lord, thank you for keeping me free from vice and walking firmly in your grace. Now, if you do start to trip, believing that you don't need God's grace, and you go into deflation, you're gonna to wanna to use a prayer of petition. In this stage, you're actively contemplating choosing vice over virtue. Maybe you start making excuses about why it's okay to fall into that vice, why everybody else is doing it, it's really not that bad. Basically, you BS yourself into believing that it's okay to stumble and fall. And so the best prayer to pray in an ejaculatory way when you're falling into deflation goes like this. Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy on me. Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy on me. Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy on me. Now, this is the powerful prayer that I promised to teach you in the beginning and one that I used repeatedly when I was trying to overcome my vice of smoking weed. I prayed this prayer day and night. I prayed it when I was falling asleep and first thing in the morning. I prayed this prayer so much that I was repeating it in my sleep. This prayer has a long history. It's also referred to as the prayer of the heart. And it's one of the first recorded prayers that were used by the early church fathers. One of the most powerful ways to use this prayer is to pray it consistently. And the way you pray it consistently is by breathing it through. What do I mean by that? On the inhale, you pray, Lord Jesus Christ. And on the exhale, have mercy on me. Lord Jesus Christ. Have mercy on me. That way, the prayer almost becomes a part of your physiology. It becomes a part of the breathing frequency, the beat of your heart. And that's why they called it the prayer of the heart. So in my War and Vice program, when men find themselves in the state of deflation, this is when we encourage them to reach out to their brothers for prayer. Ask your brother to pray a petition prayer for you to overcome this temptation. And the prayer that we use is a lot like the previous prayer, but it's asking for your brother. And it goes like this. Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy on Bob, Dave, Jim, Joe, now in his time of need. As simple as that. So a lot of times when you ask somebody for their prayers, you don't even know if they're going to pray for you. A lot of times when somebody asks you to pray for them, you might say, well, I don't know what to pray. So this is a good way to know how to pray for a brother when he's beginning to stray. Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy on my friend now in his time of need. Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy on my loved one now in the time of her need. Now let's say you stumbled and you actually are about to fall into compulsion. 
This is where it almost feels like you have no control over yourself. It's like an alter ego takes over or a demon infuses your soul and there's nothing you can do, you're out of control. So in this state, you're really very vulnerable. And as a result, you gotta pull out the big guns and use an imprecatory prayer. An imprecatory prayer is a prayer that's about calling down vengeance on your enemies. And the prayer we're gonna use comes from this book, Deliverance Prayers for the Laity by Father Ripperger. It's a powerful deliverance prayer and I'm gonna share it with you now. It's called the Prayer of Command and it can be found on the first page of the book. Here's how it goes. In his name and by the power of his cross and blood, I ask Jesus to bind any evil spirits, forces and powers of the earth, air, fire or water, of the netherworld and the satanic forces of nature. By the power of the Holy Spirit and by his authority, I ask Jesus Christ to break any curses, hex or spells and send them back to where they came from, if it be his holy will. I beseech thee, Lord, to protect us by pouring thy precious blood on us, which thou hast shed for us. And I ask thee to command that any departing spirits leave quietly without disturbance and go straight to thy cross to dispose of as thou sees fit. I ask thee to bind any demonic interplay, interaction or communication. I place myself under the protection of the blood of Jesus Christ which he has shed for us, amen. Hey, sometimes it happens that no matter how much you pray, you actually trip and fall. And instead of going into revulsion when you start to tell yourself, hey, I suck, and you start to have this sense that you can never be good and that you don't deserve forgiveness and that you'll always fall and be a failure all your life through, this is the time to seek God's justice by asking for forgiveness. And the type of prayer that you want to use during the stage is called a prayer of repentance. And the absolute best prayer to use is one that Catholics use when they go to confession and it's called the act of contrition. And it goes like this. In nomine Patris et Filia Spiritui Santi, Amen. Oh my God, I am heartily sorry for having offended thee. And I detest all of my sins because of thy just punishment. But most of all, because it offends thee, my God who art all good and deserving of all my love. I firmly resolve with the help of thy grace to sin no more and to avoid the near occasion of sin. So even if you do fall into vice, don't beat yourself up. Put yourself in the arms of your loving father and ask him for forgiveness. So there you have it. Weaponize these four prayers in your war against vice. And in the next video, we're gonna talk about accountability, walking in light and being a part of a band of brothers that hold you accountable when you're starting to slack. Until then, stay vigilant against vice and keep building that virtue. Done.